Large language models are one of the most revolutionary breakthroughs of 21st century in the field of artificial intelligence. But there is one big problem. They tend to hallucinate, meaning that they often generate responses that are factually incorrect or nonsensical. To address the issue of hallucination, scientists came up with a framework named Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG for short. RAG works by providing data from external sources as context to LLM to improve the quality of the response generated by grounding the model on external sources of knowledge, often proprietary data. However, various experiments have shown that even RAGs don't fully eliminate the risk of hallucinations for various reasons like the retrieval could simply fail to retrieve relevant context, the response lacks groundedness, meaning that the response generated by the RAG app is not supported by the context but is mostly influenced by LLM's training data. Even after retrieving relevant pieces of context and grounding response in it, the RAG app could still fail to answer user query. Because of these failure modes, it's essential to evaluate the RAG apps for hallucination at various stages of RAG architecture. One of the efficient ways to do this is through the concept called RAG triad. RAG triad consists of three evaluations, context relevance, groundedness, and answer relevance. If our RAG app scores high for all three evaluations, then we can conclude that our app is free from hallucinations. So let's go through these evaluations one by one. The first stage in any RAG application is retrieval. To check the quality of retrieval stage, we want to make sure that each chunk of context is relevant to the input user query. As a part of context relevance, we evaluate the quality and relevancy of this retrieved context. This is crucial because the context will be used by LLM to generate answers and the presence of any irrelevant information could introduce hallucinations. Here is a sample example of how context relevance evaluation is performed. We assign a score between 0 to 1 to each chunk of context based on the relevancy to the query. A high score means more relevant. We can write feedback function that generates these scores based on LLM apps, input, outputs and intermediate results. Once we have retrieved relevant context, the LLM produces the answer. Now LLMs do have tendency to exaggerate, distort, or make of facts that sound correct but are not. As a part of groundedness evaluation, we measure the extent to which the claims made by LLM can be attributed back to the retrieved context. Here is one simple example of how groundedness is evaluated. We assign a score between 0 to 1 to the response generated by the LLM app based on its groundedness in the retrieved context. A high score means the response is highly grounded in the context. Finally, the response generated by the RAG app must helpfully answer the user query. As a part of answer relevance, we evaluate the relevance of the final response to the user query. Here is one sample example of answer relevance evaluation. We assign a score between 0 to 1 to the response generated by the LLM app based on how accurately it answers user's query. A high score means the response is doing a good job of answering the query. After understanding these evaluations, you might have an obvious question. How to implement these evaluations for your RAG app? There are few different ways to implement all three evaluations. I will explain them one by one as we plot them on this meaningfulness versus scalability chart. The first one is ground truth evals, which involves hiring a team of domain experts to evaluate app output and give scores to them. Due to the involvement of expert humans, ground truth evals are highly accurate but less scalable. Next is human evals, which are somewhat the same as ground truth evals, but instead of domain experts, actual users of the app rate the final responses. These user ratings are a little less reliable as they are not expert and can be biased, but they are a bit more scalable 
then ground truth evolves because of high number of app users both ground truth and human evolves are less scalable as they involve humans in the loop hence another good solution is llm evolves llm evaluation uses other llms to generate scores for app outputs this is highly scalable and has almost the same accuracy as human and ground truth evolves one more option is to use traditional nlp evals like root score blue score etc which look for overlapping words between text traditional nlp evals are highly scalable but are generally less reliable as word overlapping is not an ideal way to meaningfully compare text now you can implement this evaluations yourself or use the true lens framework which has all these evaluations implemented I will be covering a guide to using true lens to evaluate the performance of rag apps in upcoming tutorials so stay tuned to coders column